This Sunday will be the one year anniversary of the launch of the final space shuttle mission. Now, we haven't forgotten the shuttle, and if Madison County Scott Phillips has his way, we never will. His passion, the shuttle's legacy. And WHUT News 19, Steve Johnson with the story. You don't really think about space flight as you watch Scott Phillips saw a piece of cherry wood. In Scott's workshop, you start getting hints. He takes the cherry and other choice pieces of wood and he turns them into models of the space shuttle. He made his first one in 1985. Well, you know, I uh, had a situation where people were retiring from the shuttle program and uh, I was a woodworker and everyone knew it. And so I was challenged to make uh, a crude representation of the shuttle. Of course, there's nothing crude about the models Scott has lovingly created since that first effort. It's a serious thing for me, and uh, I've, done, I've done over 250 to date, and I have every one of them tracked. From Scott's workshop, the shuttle models have gone to astronauts, to retiring NASA workers, even to NASA administrators. Scott has kept a few, like this one signed by the pilots of the very first shuttle mission, STS-1. This photo shows Scott's special connection to that first flight. Working for a NASA contractor, he was the last man out of the external tank. Yes, yeah, Scott was at Kennedy Space Center for that first shuttle launch, and he worked with the external tank for every launch since. Lift off, the final lift off of Atlantis. And that includes the last one, nearly a year ago, STS-135. My father-in-law, he's a World War II guy, 87 years old, flew a B-25 uh, Mitchell. He talks about it like it was his whole life, and he was on it for 16 months. And here I've been in the space program for 33 years, so it's something I'll carry with the rest of my life. Scott made this tribute to the shuttle program. It includes all the mission pins and, of course, the shuttle model. It's signed by the last crew. The display also includes the red flight ribbon Scott pulled from that very first external tank. Having fired the imagination of a generation, a ship like no other, its place in history secured, the space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Scott retired after that final mission, but there's no separating Scott Phillips from the shuttle program. Certainly the dozens of hours he puts in every exquisite model shows his love for the shuttle's legacy. I'm excited when I see somebody light up and get one of those models. The best thing, Scott Phillips plans to keep making them. Steve Johnson, WHNT News 19. Scott Phillips busy these days writing a book about his experiences with the shuttle program. Also, there is a display of his work at the Huntsville Convention and Visitors Bureau in Church Street. It will be there through the end of August. We have a special guest uh, that's got a long time history with the space program. Now, I grew up in Huntsville. I remember the Saturn V rocking my house and knocking things off our walls. That's how powerful that, that rocket was. But um, so I'm used to the space program. Uh, I've, it's almost like I've seen it all and heard it all, but we have a man here tonight that worked. Uh, he's retired from the space shuttle program, which we're all proud of here in Huntsville. Uh, currently uh, does some work with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. His name is Scott Phillips, and he's going to talk about a very special moon guitar. Scott, come on up. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Hey. I just happened to see a guy out there that saved my life last year, Dr. Johnson. Everything is good, my friend. To a guitar player and to a wood carver, I carved 450 space shuttle models. You know that, don't you? Okay, and that's why you had to pick me up. So, but we've taken this 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Everybody saw the moon landing 50 years ago? Well, I'm going to spin a story for you. I think it's going to be kind of fantastic in a way. Of course, you know, I'm retired now after 33 years in the space shuttle program. I was NASA's woodcarver, so to speak. But so uh, in 1971, Apollo 14 went up to the moon and it took up tree seeds. Of course, you can look it up online. Stu Roos of the astronaut was a smoke jumper before he became an astronaut. So he wanted to honor the forestry department and the 200th anniversary of America. So he took up sweet gums, lop, lolly pines, and sycamore seeds to the moon. Did you know that? Well, okay, we'll look it up when you go home tonight, ladies, while your wife's been driving. Look Stu Roos up and you'll see that he took up tree seeds. Well, they planted 
The Sycamore tree at the Kennedy Space Center in 1976, not only to honor his flight in 71, but to honor the 200th anniversary of America in 1976. And I'll tell you what, the tree grew to maturity, but Irma, the hurricane, knocked it down two years ago. So traditionally, they mulch those moon trees because they don't want wood hounds out like me and it's government property. But we were celebrating the 50th anniversary and NASA let their hair down a little bit and called me on the phone and said, we got a log for you. They had a log for me to carve the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. My wife picked me up off the floor and I said, my God, what am I gonna do? So I went to bed that night thinking about what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? Well, I woke up to Beethoven on my clock radio and I said, my gosh, what never changes? You know, governments change, space programs change, <laughs> but what stays constant? Music. That will outlive me hundreds of years. So we birthed what we call music from the moon. I called up my friend, and he is a friend, C.F. Martin, and he put me on God's economy. God's economy. C.F. Martin agreed to build this fantastic guitar, free gratis, to Huntsville. So not only did NASA give me the tree, not only did I give of my time and skill, but CF made this fantastic guitar for us to live well beyond our years. So I'd like to be, and I, Jim, I wanna thank Jim Parker for letting me come tonight to unveil this to Huntsville because it belongs to you. <laughs> it belongs to you, man. So we're gonna continue God's, we're gonna continue God's economy because it belongs to y'all. We're gonna unveil it tonight. So get your cameras ready. And like I say, it's made out of the tree, and, and you can see the tree right here before it came down. So we have a picture of that. Of course, the plaque with it, so that authenticates it. Of course, we all understand the American flag. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, here we go.